How's it going guys? So this is a redo of a past HDRI tutorial. There's some things I didn't know and a lot of you uh, corrected me in the comments. So I appreciate that. So this is the redo. So this is how to make a 360 um, perfectly seamless HDR in Blender. But before we get into that, I want to shout out the Patreon. I just released a pack of 50 looping animations. It's all the project files for all 50 of those animation loops. I also dropped the glitch pack, which is 10 procedural glitch looking materials. And next month in April, I'll be releasing the wood pack. You can see it there. So a bunch of cool things happening on Patreon. Uh, I released a couple exclusive tutorials and some really cool client work stuff going on there as well. So you can go check that out in the description. So let's get into the tutorial. So we're going to use this simple room setup I made, nothing too complicated, it just has lighting data. All you need is lighting data. It can be as simple as a sphere with an emission material on it. That's all you really need. Um, so let's go ahead and get the camera settings you need. So we're gonna get perspective. So click on your camera, click on the little, little green camera there. And we're gonna go to panoramic. So that's what we're gonna have first. And then to make it work, go to EQ rectangular. You got that. And then we're gonna hit the camera. We're gonna hit G and we're gonna move it in. Um, so, I mean, position your camera wherever you want. For me, it's already pointing straight, so it works for me. And I'm going to hit G, middle click, and bring it in so that it is inside the room. And then just bring it to wherever you like. So right here works really well for me. Got a, got a good bit of lighting here. And then the last thing you need to do is go to your um, camera settings. No, I mean, export settings here. And go from PNG here to Radiance HDR. And then you can pick your export settings in terms of quality. By default, it's 1920 by 1080. Um, if you're going to be using this on a good professional project, I would say put it up to 4K, 200, and you can bring it up even more. Uh, if you want it to be perfectly high quality, then maybe bring it up to 300 or 400 if your, cam if your computer can handle rendering that. Uh, but for the demo, I'm going to render it at um, 100, 1920 by 1080, and then I'm going to render, render image. And then I'm going to open it up in a new scene and show you guys how it looks. All right, so I have a super simple scene. I'm going to go over here to the world setting and uh, click this environment texture and I'm gonna navigate to where I saved my uh, HDRI, which is right here. And then I'm gonna Z rendered view and uh, here it is. Nice and uh, showing light as you can see the uh, scene around it is perfectly stitched. Uh, there's no, you can't see a seam. So it is a perfect 360 um, HDRI. Now if you don't want this actually showing up in your camera view, you can um, actually go to the world settings here, ray visibility and uncheck camera and then now it's gone. Um, so you can use it for all kinds of stuff and you won't have any copyright issues on your own projects And this is a really cool thing you can use so um, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something